What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Pokemon Platinum playthrough. This is going to be episode 7. Uh, as I said, I went ahead and caught him a chop, which I forgot to nickname. So I'll be giving him a nickname when I get to Eterna also. He's hasty, which works for me. I went ahead and I just battled with him in the mine until he ran out of PP and he made it all the way to level 16 without needing to heal. So that's what level he is. All right. Continuing on with our adventure, we are going to head to, uh, Jubilife. Yeah, I, I, my brain kept telling me Floramatown, and I'm like, no, Jubilife. We need to get to Jubilife, so that way we can go north and through that cave to get to Floramatown. Oh, looker. Actually, gonna go ahead and swap from I'm a chop because I believe there's a galactic battle coming up. Yep. <laughs> Rowan, the master. That that was like the Octoburn from that 70s show. If you guys have ever watched that show, what he just did to them was like the Octoburn. Yeah, we're gonna kill your glam meow. We're not gonna kill your glam meow. What, what are you picking on? Mama Chop. Piplup, attack the other one. There. That was easy. Bye. I'll go ahead. Oh. We're going to ignore that. When I get a copy of Brilliant Diamond, I'm going to go ahead and, and do all of that stuff on that, probably. Um, oh, my other video finished uh, processing, so that's good. I'm gonna go ahead and do all that stuff in Brilliant Diamond. My buddy John got a copy of each, and we're gonna Nuzlocke him uh, whenever he comes to visit. So uh, I won't be able to record it or anything, but so I'm gonna Nuzlocke Pearl, so that way when I get my own copy of Diamond, I don't have to worry about the saves of my Nuzlocke running into the saves of my main Diamond playthrough, so. I don't know if I'm going to do a challenge on that one or if I'm just going to enjoy it since I'm already Nuzlocke and Pearl. Oh, I don't know why I saved. Just a habit. And I can't remember if I actually healed. So we'll go ahead and heal. Now we'll switch Shinx back up to the... F well, Shinx isn't going to be the best for Kaven. 
But we'll put him up front and we'll switch trade him. But Turtwig and Machop. There's basically nothing that'll get in my way right now. Alrighty. I didn't get anything new that lets me explore this route in particular. But I did get something. A Bidoof. That lets me explore the cave up ahead. Or at least a little bit. Oh, sorry. I was in bed way too late last night. Oh, wow. Alrighty. Ravaged path. We're gonna go this way now. And there's not much we can get. Okay, so we are gonna do a bunch, of, a bunch, a bunch of Floroma Town stuff today because I couldn't remember how much of that we could actually explore. Turns out it's none of it. So go ahead and go up through this route. There's a double battle coming up. I think they have electric types. Oh, must be a different route, or farther up this route, but in that battle, I believe Starly's my second placer, so I'm gonna have to switch her out first turn. Should have had her in right here. Go ahead and do our switch, now that we've got the Intimidate off. I'm worried about, I'm pretty sure these get Poison Point, so if I'm gonna hit it, with a physical attack, I only want to have to hit it once to lessen my exposure. Excellent. We'll keep you in, bird. And I know that there's a lot of grass types coming up, which is why I have my Shinx out front, because the Starly is going to get Lots of practice. We are not going to learn double team. Because double team is very lazy and boring. And I hate when people use it because it's not good. You're not good. You're just spamming an attack that makes it so there's the twins with the electric types, I'm pretty sure. You're just making it so that I can't hit you. That's, I mean, if you want to call that a strategy, that'd be like saying that winning a war by nuking the opposing force is a strategy. Sure, you're going to win, but do you feel proud of yourself? And the ruin that you left? Oh boy. Oh, shanks. We really need to get you an attack that's worth having, buddy. That works. There we go. And switch it to a Starly. I couldn't remember if Cricketot is flying. I think Cricketune might be. But. I know that we'll get rid of it. Oh god. Bye. Work it. I hate bye. Hey, it's me. Go ahead and move your moves. Yeah, Spark's physical, but it's stab and it's stronger than tackle, so even though I'm going to have to tackle in this next battle. Unless I switch both of them out for both my strong guys. I'll just intimidate them. Yep, two squirrels.
I'm probably going to focus on the Starly so we can go ahead and run in with our Turtwig, which will resist. Oops. I'll tackle one. And if I get. I don't think I can get paralyzed. I could be wrong. But I'll resist their electric attacks. Well, they didn't bother. Boring. But that's okay. If I'm not mistaken, Razor Leaf is going to hit everybody. So. Oop. Don't want to spark. They really don't like. Okay. Now everybody's getting hit. up a little bit. Well, now they're picking on Shinx. At least I got that Intimidate off. That's helping out. One's gone. Two's gone. Right. My first evolution. Mm -hmm. Ooh, let's see. holding that. Alright, to the Pokemon Center. Yep, I'll be investigating that. Yep, but I can't do that. No healing items. That includes giving them berries to hold. This house. Oh. Most animals have a reasonably high sense of smell, so. Shaman. What an annoying Pokemon in the movie. I sell it, I can't use it. I'm not even gonna pick the berries. That solves that problem. Oh. 
Ah, pluck. Never really used pluck before, but I'm not going to use it in this uh, game because of the implication that I would be using berries. Alright, I can't go to the meadow, so we'll just keep heading out this way. Yep, I will save him. Uh, similar thing uh, that I'm gonna do in this ep in between this episode and the next one that I did uh, with the Machop is I'm gonna get a Buizel and I'll go level it up. I'll probably run back to Orbro and everything. Yeah, I'm gonna try and get in. I'll fight you. Don't don't challenge a person to a fight that you can't beat. If I'm not mistaken, after this guy, I gotta run to the meadow and beat those guys up. And once I do that, I'll probably end up saving. Uh, fake out. I want to teach him uh, protect just for that. Your uh, growl didn't do a whole lot there, buddy. about his Pokemon. <laughs> it just locks me out. Alrighty, to the meadow. I've been recording for approximately 17 minutes, so we'll go ahead and beat up these guys real quick. Uh, so that way we can save before we do the Valley Wind Works next episode. Alrighty. Um great numbers my butt you get one pokemon if you get one at all um i was thinking about catching him a chop just to trade it for that abra the in-game abra even though i couldn't evolve it i could use it for now but that's just another pokemon i've got to maintain a level for so i decided not to do that go ahead and poison me you ain't gonna like it My uh, Machop has guts, so if it poisons me, it's going to have a bad day, and so will all of its friends. I uh, can't wait to fight the Perugly with my Machop because of low kick or sweep or whatever it is. Oh boy, Machop, you're coming back to me probably going to end up getting my Lug Spray confused, or my Shinx confused, but... Nope. Went right for an attack. Eesh. Your first time using Spark, yay! Stab, super effective. 65 base power. You're so strong, Shinx. Took some took him a while to learn an electric type move, but at least when he learned one it, it ends up being really good for this part of the game. I'll have to check his attack stats though. I can't remember if he is um special or physical. I wanna say he's better with physical, judging by the luxury I'm using on shield. But I could be wrong, it could be like a, a special physical split. Kind of setup. <sighs> Fantastic. You got the works key, which means that. I got some honey. I can't use it for healing, so I will keep it. Um, we'll go ahead and see if there's anything here I can do before we head to town and save. Yep, there's people to talk to. I will not be using honey to catch anything in this game.
I wonder if they revamped the honey mechanic in the, the remakes. Because I haven't really looked anything up yet. Oh, where am I going? I want to go to the Pokemon Center so I can save. We're just going to leave Machop in, Machop in the front. Because uh, he'll be the most useful on the Windworks. We're going to go ahead and save. Um... We'll save and save, and between this episode and the next one, I'll probably end up getting myself a Bleasel um, that I'll train up. There we go. I'll end up getting a Bleasel that I'll train up, and then once I've gotten my Bleasel, I'll be doing the Valley Windworks. Um, he's not that useful in there or anything, but I know that it's not going to take me 15 to 20 minutes to do the Valley Windworks. At least I don't think it should, which means I'll be continuing up the route, so I'd have to pause and catch and train in the middle of making my video instead of just doing it beforehand, like I did with the Machop today. So I'm just, I'm just gonna get myself a bow weasel, um, and then we'll finally be on our way to Eterna, where I can re-nickname my Pokemon that I was too much of an idiot to name right the first time. Alright, this has been Episode 6. I'll see you in Episode 7. Bye-bye.